Good morning, YouTube. What am I doing here? It's six thirty in the morning. What am I doing awake? So much on my head and my shoulders so much night. Let's watch Game of Thrones. That was so much disappointing to say the least, but anticipation succeeded for a lot of the things that they were planning on doing. So kudos for that. Um I this is a hard topic to talk about. Which is all in here. And I'm not going to bore you with every single page that's here. But this is everything pretty much you need to know about the live shoes. Like, if you don't follow this, you're going to fall behind. And I'm already behind. And it's not a good feeling. I mean... Some of it, it just doesn't feel fair as us as a creator. It feels like we're just slave labor designing shoes for a company that's well established making shoes, but they don't have a good design team, so they source it out to the general public like myself. And I'm not saying that as an insult. I'm saying that as they really need to step up their game of what they're going to do for us as a creator. Because what they got right now is just not enough to keep us going. We have to pay in so much. We have to talk about so much. We have to push, 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 get that hustle done. Which makes sense. I get that. I get that drive. I know that drive. I've been that drive. I get it. And it's just, there's so much in here that it's like, who, who can do that? Like, this is like one paragraph here I want to read to you guys. What if I do not reach my seven pre-orders goal? Okay. It says, if you do not reach the seven pre-order sales goal, the people who purchased your, your shoes will be immediately refunded. The good news is you can always relaunch your campaign and try to reach your goal again. Okay. That's great that everyone's going to get a refund if I don't make that goal. That's awesome. It's going to take care of my people. It's going to do what's right. But what's it doing right for me? Telling me I can relaunch? Well, if I just spent 30 days and nobody bought anything, why would I want to relaunch? Can I just relaunch or launch a new shoe I would hope so but there's questions like that that don't have answers it just there's so much in here and the pricing of the shoes like let me get to the page give me a second I have all the shoes printed out with the pr pricing, but I have a total cost. Where did it go? I think it's in the beginning here. Yeah. Your customer's shoes are priced between $149 and $269. I've spent a lot of money on shoes before. I'm fully guilty of that. But that was a shoe company I know that's been out for a long time. They make great quality shoes. 
They're not going to sell a high dollar shoe for a piece of crap shoe. They're not going to do that. And I'm not saying this company is doing that. I'm just saying that they're charging a price that's so high in the premium that the people that we're trying to reach, maybe some of you out there that are designing know people that can afford that amount, okay? The people I know can't afford that amount. So where does that leave me? There's a lot to take in and a lot to understand and a lot to try to make sense of. Because like I said, I got this entire binder full of literature that I've printed off from their website. And there's so many questions I have that some get answered or they get partially answered. So, a lot of shoes, you need to step up your game with your customer service. Like, you should have a call center that designers can call up and say, hey, this is what's going on. Can you help me with this? Can you show me the steps I need to do for this particular situation that I'm going through right now? I mean... Right here, this page I landed on. How much profit do I make? Okay. You heard how much the shoe prices are. How much profit do I make? For each pair of shoes you sell, you will receive $30 profit. $30. You're selling over a hundred dollar pair of shoes and you're only giving thirty dollars back okay um i don't understand that because i think i should be getting more than thirty dollars i think it should be a percentage of what the sales are made of that's how it used to be when i worked at the last shoe place i worked at we got a commission of a percentage of each sale we made, not a set $30, okay? There's coupons that I can give out to you guys. There's, and even with the coupons I give you guys, that's another example. You get a $10 coupon, you get a $20 coupon, you get a $30 coupon. That still leaves a hundred and fifty dollar shoe at a hundred and twenty dollars tops. Who can afford that? Nowadays with the economy the way it is, yeah, I'm sure there are people out there that can afford this. And this video does not pertain to you. This is for the middle class and below. It's really hard to reach that goal. And to relaunch it, what's the point? If it didn't launch the first time, how is it going to launch the second time? It just doesn't make sense. It really, truly doesn't. And it tells you how to sell your shoes. And then it goes into telling you need 10 ambassadors. You know, I didn't like that part. Let me see if I can find it. Give me a minute. I'll read this to you guys. And tell me if this is something that you would do to help boost your sales. Give me just a minute, guys. There's a lot of paperwork here. Give me a minute. Calm down, people. Okay. 
they want us to find 10, 10 ambassadors. Worry about where to sell your custom shoes? Start with the people you know. Identify a group of at least 10 people among your friends, family, professional network, school, existing customers, and peers. These 10 pe people will serve as ambassadors of your of your designs and brand, helping you support your project. Your 10 ambassadors will likely to be the first clients. So approach the selection process very carefully. Look for one, but more of the following criteria. This is where it gets interesting. They are helpful and supportive that I can look for. They are having a strong social following. So if you're really popular and you're really popular on social media, you're looking for that type of person that you know and that you can trust. They are fashionable and stylish. That makes sense. It makes total sense. You don't want Joe Blow that wears saggy jeans and a roofed up t-shirt wearing a nice high-end shoe. It just, it just doesn't mix, okay? This is the one that bothered me the most. They owe you something. If one of these 10 ambassadors owe me something, I think I'm going to reach them better under different, different circumstances to say, hey, you owe me this. So do this for me. Because that just puts pressure on them. Then it says they work in a large they work in a large companies or popular industries. Okay, that makes sense. I get that. You want globalization and industries that might be interested in buying the shoe. They are influencers and trendsetters. There's a lot of people out there that go by that title that are really not. And normally if you have that type of group of people, you're already well established and you don't have to worry about doing what we're doing. Whereas me, the underdog, is trying to do this and do this right. Okay? They have influential friends, meaning, hey, John, I got this shoe over here. It really matches the stuff that you do. Want to buy it? Just doesn't make sense. They are big spenders of fashion and lifestyle products. Okay. With that, I get it. But again, when you're down below, the people up here that want to buy that high end don't want to come down to that lower end because it's ab it's above it's below them. They don't need to do that. They can go out and buy what they want. They don't need to worry about someone that's made something unless it's something specific that they're looking for it's a very thin market to find somebody that has that and wants that and then the final one they have already purchased from you in the past okay i'm an artist i sell drawings i sell paintings okay they're not going to want to buy shoes from me. If they do, that's great. If you're one of my followers that love my artwork and want to have a living, breathing art form of mine that you can put on your feet and show off, great. 
but it, chances of that, so slim. So those 10 ambassadors that they want you to find are extremely, extremely, extremely hard to find to make that criteria. A live shoes, you really need to worry about, start with your entry level people like myself and work with us and teach us the tools and set up workshops that we could attend and learn something from. I'd greatly appreciate it. I know I would learn, love to learn from it. So that's what I got for you guys today. I'm sorry. This has been a bit of a rant on a live shoes.com. You can still find my shoes on there. The link will be in the description. But I just had to throw that out there. There's so much more I want to cover and go over, which I will do in time. But thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Stay awesome. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Peace.